So today, guys, we check out a new world update, a new new world update, the 1.1.1. So landing right now, more or less, by the time you've watched this video, you'll probably have it installed. And today we're getting to all the changes. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and to give back to you guys, I'm giving away 10,000 marks of fortunes. To be in with a chance of winning these, simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed and have the notifications turned on. The more of my videos you support me on, the more of a chance you have of winning. Winners will be announced at the end of the week. Good luck everybody. So yes, the new world update 1.1.1 will release at 11 p.m. PT on November 30th. So like I said, by the time you've watched this video, it's probably already updated for you. And it comes with some interesting changes and explanations to some of them, well, F-ups they did with the November update. So let's get into it, guys. Morts from elemental enemies. Fixed an issue causing a large number of morts to drop from elemental enemies. We also removed elemental morts as rewards from gathering elemental creatures and reduced the amount of other resources acquired from them to account for the number of them in the world and the frequency at which they respawn. The original intention with these creatures was to make them challenging and infrequent encounters in the world. The way we used them in practice resulted in them becoming less dangerous and more frequent which caused an imbalance with the amount of resources they provided compared to primary sources such as elemental plants and stones so yes the bears the wolves and the stags have took a massive nerf guys okay so missing horticultural gear in our latest update we made a mistake that treated all tiers of the in-game horticultural harvesting gear as future content and unintentionally removed them from the game we apologize for this bug that's caused you to lose some items you rightfully earned if you have lost an acquired piece of harvester armor, you should have an extra rewards chest in your inventory after this update. These reward chests contain a full set of horticultural armor provided at the highest tier you personally have acquired in the past for any piece of this harvester set. They're also rolling out a maximum gear score for that tier, so that's pretty cool. And will be usable at any level to ensure you can equip them. These items are marked as bind and equip, like any harvester armor piece you would encounter normally. Once you open a chest, it will provide you five items. The harvester hat, shirt, gloves, pants and shoes. Okay, so on to housing. re enable trading, moving and salvaging of furnishings and housing items. So that's pretty cool because my inventory is filled up of these furniture and it's just driving me around the bend. Okay, so on to crafting. Fix their bug where jewel crafting recipes were not granted enough trade skill XP. Recently, we lowered the amount of trade skill XP provided by lower tiered items when a player reaches a new tier of crafting bases per skill. To use metal as an example, when a player unlocks steel recipes, they earn less from crafting iron recipes. We did this to emphasize uh, crafting higher tiered items as you progress through trade skills and to also improve the value of higher tiered materials. Our intention behind this change is to reward players for crafting higher tiered items as they progress through the ranks of each trade skill. Before this change, we found players were spending too much time crafting lower tiered items as opposed to pushing their crafting skill up crafting items that they may actually use at their current level. That does kind of make sense, but you know. Okay, so onto trading. Fixed an issue where players were not able to fill by orders from local storage sheds. Can't say I noticed that one myself. Servers. Technical groundwork for server merges. Nice. War performance enhancements. So when are these server merges actually coming? Because I got a funny feeling, guys. They'll probably arrive with a big December update. And to be honest, after the November update, I'm not really looking to the world well, the state of the game after the December update. But let's face it, it can't be as bad as what happened after the November update. I mean, that was atrocious. Okay, so general bug fixes. Avoid Gauntlet. Fix to Oblivion, not going on to cooldown if players swap weapons during skill startup. Avoid Gauntlet. Fix to consumable status effects being cleansed by Oblivion. Fix an issue that was causing jewelry crafting to not reward appropriate amounts of XP for higher tier crafts. Fix an issue preventing players from earning a lumberjack achievement. And that's actually it guys, it's actually a short, uh, well, short patch notes. There's a few interesting changes here for sure guys. But yes, 
that's it the end of the video has arrived tell me your thoughts on these down below also guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps me out if you're new around here and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one